Hi guys, welcome back to Create with Kate. For anyone that's new here, this is a space used to share the best UI, UX practices, as well as any tips and anything Figma related. For today's video, a few of you may have heard of Figma, but you're not exactly sure what it is used for. So let's just jump in. For today, I'll be answering six questions. What is the purpose of Figma? What are the basics of Figma? What is the best use of Figma? Can I learn Figma in three days? Do I need any coding knowledge to use Figma? What do companies use Figma for? What is the purpose of Figma? Figma is a design tool that's mainly used by UI and UX designers. And this is just a fancy way of saying it allows you to show how websites, apps, and any digital products will be built. The purpose of Figma is it lets you visually design how products will look and how they will work before they are sent to be built in code. Think of Figma as a digital sketchbook, planning, and prototyping tool all in one. What is the basic use of Figma? So with Figma, at its core, you can design websites and mobile apps. You can create wireframes and mockups, and you're able to build clickable prototypes so you can test how your design is going to function before it's actually built in code. The best thing about Figma is that it is all online, so you can collaborate with your team members, leave comments, and there's none of this back and forth with emailing as it's all there in your design file on Figma. What is the best use of Figma? So Figma really shines when you're using it for responsive design, which means you're designing for desktop, tablet, and mobile. When you use components and design systems, which save you loads of time and ensure consistency throughout your designs. When you want to share your designs with the developers, they can already see your specs without you having to go into extreme detail. Figma is really amazing when you're working with a team, whether you are a designer, a developer, or a product manager, you're all able to see and work within one file. Can I learn Figma in three days? You absolutely can, but don't expect to be a pro. It will take some time. I also think if you have any background using other design tools, such as like the Adobe Suite, like Photoshop or Illustrator, it will be easier for you to learn. You can start with shapes and frames first, then move on to your color and your text, and then you can build some basic prototyping. I think if I had to start over again, I would really dive into how to set up a design system and create components as that saves tons of time and keeps consistency throughout your design. Does Figma need coding? No, Figma is purely a visual design tool, so you don't need to know any code to use it. However, it is useful to chat to your developers to see if they have any limitations and work with them as they're building the final product. As you'll see, there will be changes along the way. It is also useful if you know a little bit of basic coding, just to understand from the dev's perspective what they may need you to change within Figma to make it workable for them. What do companies use Figma for? Figma is used to design and test user interfaces. It allows collaboration across many different teams as well as team members within the teams and keep the company's branding and design consistent. Figma is now used as the modern standard tool for design. Previously, it was Adobe XD. You'll know big companies such as Google, Slack, and Uber, they all use Figma for their design. There you have it. Figma is basically your best friend when it comes to designing websites and mobile apps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, catch you in the next one.